children this is sonadipa in this video we are going to learn the introduction for number system and also we are going to do some of the example problems okay so first you should know what are the concept we are going to learn in this chapter number system that is first thing is you should know what is a decimal number so in this chapter i told you already that we are going to learn decimal numbers right in last term we learned integers but for second term we are going to learn decimal numbers in number system so here we are we are going to learn the place value already you know the place value for uh, normal natural numbers but here we are going to learn the place value for decimal numbers decimal numbers is nothing but the numbers with points right so for example For five fifty three point eight nine six, this is a decimal number. Already you might have gone across these numbers, but now in this term we are going to learn clearly about these numbers and its place value. Okay, so you know the place value for this number, right? That is uh, the part that is whole number part. You know the place value. This is one term and this is ten term. Likewise, we have. Uh, international system of uh, place that is international system and also uh, indian system you learnt already in your 6th standard am i correct so now in this term we are going to learn the place value for these numbers decimal numbers okay and we are going to learn what is a decimal number and also the place values first so after that we are going to representing a decimal number representing how we are going to represent a decimal number okay which includes the place value everything right So the second concept is fractions and decimals. You know fractions, right? So we are going to uh, see fractions as well as decimals. We are going to see the conversion also. How we are going to convert a fraction to decimal and decimal to fraction? Okay. Next thing is comparison of decimals. Okay. We are going to compare the decimal that is uh, equal with decimal numbers with equal. Uh, decimal digits and decimal numbers with unequal decimal digits we are going to com compare right so the last one is representing decimal number on a number line you know what is a number line and we are going to represent uh, decimal numbers in a number line that is our last concept okay so in this video i'm going to explain you representing a decimal number and also In my next video, I am going to explain exercise one point one. Is it clear? So please do watch that video also. Don't miss it. Decimal number. What is a decimal number? Decimal number is a number which has a point in it. Okay. So point in it followed by some numbers which is less than one. See, for example, I am taking one decimal number forty five point six. Okay. So here, this five place value of five is once, once place, and four is in tens place, right? So this six, it is after this point. This is decimal number. Six is a decimal number. So six by tenth part. How we are calling? Why we are calling it like this? See, if for example, I want to mark point six. In my scale, where we should mark, we have to mark points. So that is, this is point one, point two, point three, point four, point five, point six, point seven, point eight, point nine, and one. Next, one point one, one point two, one point three. Already, you learned this in your previous classes that while drawing nine segment, you might have measured like this. Am I correct? So now, point six will come here, right? So after point five, we will have point six. So Point six will come here. Okay, so we are we are mentioning it using six by ten. So tenth part. Okay, so totally we have ten. Whole is ten, and our number is six. So six by ten is our place value. Usually we call this six by ten as tenth. T e n t h s tenth place. Okay, this is one tens hundred. This is tenth tenth place. Okay, how to Call like this tenth place. Okay, let us uh, see the place value for decimal numbers using some other uh, num uh, decimal numbers. See, for example, three eight nine point four two five. Now we are going to 
write the place value for this number okay so this uh, this is whole number part okay the numbers before point decimal point is called whole number part and the numbers after decimal point is called decimal part okay decimal part is it clear so now we are going to write the place value for each uh, numbers so now the place value for 9 is ones right 8 is tens 3 is hundreds am i correct hundreds hundreds place okay now what is the place value for four i told you it is tenth t e n t h s tenths place value then two hundred h u n d r e d hundred you have to add t h s to it okay hundred then five place value of five is thousand thousand d t h s okay thousandth part likewise we are mentioning this place value of decimal number okay also we can call this tenth place as 1 by 10th place 1 by 10th place 1 by 100th place 1 by 1000th place likewise we can say is it clear so either we can say tenth place 100th place or 1000th place otherwise we can mention it by 1 by 10 1 by 100 1 by 1000 using while denoting the place value using pictures that is pictorial representation we usually call this one box as ones right so 10 boxes is tens and 10 tens boxes that is 100 right so for uh, decimal numbers we will be calculating a slide as tens part okay ten slides uh, formed together to form ones that is one box so this one box 10 one box ones boxes joined together to form tens box okay 10 tens box joined together to form hundreds box okay this is the pictorial representation of decimal numbers as well as whole numbers okay now we are going to see the example problem example 1.1 okay so i am going to explain you in this in your book so this is your example 1.1 see the first sum it is 0.3 0.3 means 0.1 plus 0.2 plus 0.3 am i correct so they have drawn the slide okay slide structure for three times that is 0.3 okay so 3.6 see the next picture 3.6 so three boxes three ones boxes and then six decimal boxes right so see the third one 2.7 so two boxes two ones boxes and 0.7 seven slide boxes right so last one is 11.4 here 11 means 10 plus 1 so 10 plus 1 and again slides how many decimal num decimal number is 4 okay 0.4 so four slide boxes is it clear so this is your example 1.1 Example one point two. The question is, write the following in the place value grid and find the place value of the underlined digits. Okay, here are the numbers they have given, and we have to find out the place value. Okay, of the underlined digits. So place value grid. So this is known as place value grid. Okay, we have to uh, write the place values in a tabular column. like structure that is known as grid place value grid so here we are going to write the number given numbers okay in correct order and finally we have to write the place value of the underlined digit is it clear so now we have the first question is 0.37 so zero we have the whole number part is zero so no numbers here right so decimal part what is the decimal uh, place value of 3 Tenth place, so we have to write three here and seven hundredth place. Okay, now second one two point seven three. So here the whole number part is two. So two is in the place of ones. So we have to write two here in ones place. Okay, so seven in tenth place and three in hundredth place. Okay, so third one is 
28.271 whole number part so 8 in unit place and 2 in tens place ok again this 2 in tenth place 7 in hundredth place and 1 in thousandth place ok now we have to write the place value of the underlined digits ok so for the first question the answer is the place value of 7 you have to write the place value of the place value of 7 in 0.37 is what is the place value for 7 100 very good 100 h u n d r e d t h s 100 okay next the second one here also we have to find the place value for 7. What is the place value of 7 here? So we have to write the place value of 7 in the number 2.73 is. What is the place value here? Tenth. Okay. T-E-N-T-H-S. Tenth place. Okay. Next third one also 7. They have underlined 7. So the place value of 7 in this number 28.271 is what is the place value here? 100. H U N D R E D T H S. 100 please. So this is your answer. Is it clear? If they asked you to draw the place value grid means you have to draw this table and then you have to write the numbers according to their place value. And then finally you can write if they ask you to write the place value of the underlined digit. Is it clear? Now example 1.3. The height of a person is 165 centimeter. Express this height in meter. Okay. So we are going to convert centimeter to meter. We are going to express the given value in meter. Okay. Already you will know that 1 meter is equal to how many centimeters? 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter. So 1 centimeter equal to how many meters? 1 by 100 meters. So we are going to use this uh, conversion here. Okay. So this 1 by 100. If you are converting centimeter to meter means we have to divide it by 100. So I am dividing the number by 100. Okay. While dividing using 10, 100, 1000 powers of 10 means we have a simple trick. Okay. Uh, so that we can easily write the answers. Okay. There is no need to divide everything. But just by placing points we can divide the given number using the powers of tens. Okay. First let me give you some other example for that. So if I am dividing 36 by 10. Okay. If I am dividing 36 by 10 means what I have to do is. From the last. Okay. From last digit I have to place decimal point before one digit since we have one zero for 10 we have to place the point before one digit that is 3.6 okay same thing if i have 100 okay if i am dividing a number by 100 means how many zeros are there in 100 two zeros so what i have to do is i have to keep the point before two digits okay so now before two digit means i am keeping the point here okay so 0 0.36 right if I have 1000, for 1000 we have 3 zeros. So before 3 digits I have to place point. So here I have one first digit, second digit, third digit is not there. So I am putting one zero and I am placing the point. So 0 0.036. This is a simple method. Okay. This method will help you to do the problems easily without doing big division calculation. Is it clear? So you should know this concept since it is very very important. Okay. You will be using this type of division in your upcoming years. Example 1.5. Express the numbers given in expanded form in the place value grid. Also write its decimal representation. So we have to write this expanded form of a decimal number in place value grid. Already I taught you how to draw place value grid. So we are going to draw place value uh, grid and then finally we are going to represent the number in decimal form. Okay. So now I am going to draw the 
place value grid Okay, so I am going to represent these numbers in place value grid. You know what is the place value of 3 here? 1's place. So I am writing 3. Any number in 10's place? No. Okay, so now 10th place is nothing but 1 by 10's place. So what is the number here? 5. Okay, so 3 by 100. So 100th place is 3. Okay, 1000th place is 4. Now I am going to represent this in decimal form. So 3.3534 that is your decimal representation of this expanded form. You know expanded form. See for example 235 for a whole number 235. What is the expanded form? We will be writing it as 200 plus 30 plus 5. We will be writing the expanded form like this. The same way. We are, we are writing this decimal number in the expanded form. That is 3 plus the place value of... So, sorry, I have written it wrongly here. So, 3.534. Okay. So, 5 by 10 plus 3 by 100 plus 4 by 1000. Okay. This is the expanded form of this decimal number. In this video, I explained you what is a decimal number and some representation of decimal number in a pictorial format and then in place value grid using some suitable example problems, right? So, in my next video, I am going to explain exercise 1.1. So, don't miss that video. If you like my video, please click like button. If you didn't subscribe my channel till now means, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching my video. All the best.